What's up guys, Goro here, and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Missy's mission episode 12 is upon us, and we have some weekend league to qualify for. The points have been earned in division rivals, so hopefully we're going to take our team into the first set of qualifiers. See if we can get four wins, if we can't get four wins. Then that is a problem, but hopefully we'll be able to play Weekend League this weekend. And without further ado, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video a like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let's go off into seeing how well we can actually do in Weekend League qualifiers. So then in to the actual game itself. Obviously, we know that this is the team we are running with. There is going to be a chance of one or two possibilities of getting an upgrade for this, but... This team I've used in now probably about 10 to 15 games of Division Rivals over the last 24 hours, and it is really, really good. Um, when we actually play in a 4-2-1-3, it plays fantastically. Missy Bo Kearns has just this free roam, so obviously considering the Road to Glory is around her, to allow her to have that availability in the midfield, to play around, to score a few goals, to get a few assists. I mean, 87 games played already with her. With 16 goals and 37 assists. I feel like that's quite good considering it's like a base goal card. Um, yeah, really, really happy with that. Perisic is playing fantastically. Considering this card technically it was like 50k, you could say. He's actually worth it. Um, Kamavinga and De Jong in midfield are really, really fun. Dembele is good. Rodrigo is very good. And Darwin Nunes is very good as well. Backline, Teo Hernandez is doing well for us. So... I know we were umming and ahhing about Kimpembe, but I think for now, I'm more than happy to keep hold of Teo Hernandez. Um, and then off the bench, we've got the likes of Diaby, Timo Werner, Benini, all of that type of stuff. So some really, really good options. So the team is playing pretty well. As I say, we do have a few options of upgrading the team. Now we are above level 21. Haven't really done too much in terms of like focusing on doing objectives. However, what we have done is we've completed, it is here, the assist. So we've got 300 assists complete. And because of that, we've got a rare mega pack. So we might get something good in this. I think it's another 60 assists. And then we have a 100k pack. So we're going to have that for Road to the Knockout Team 2. Obviously, that is coming for you guys in about three hours time. As you can see, it's recording. It's about 20 hours until it comes out for me. So maybe we're going to pack another Road to the Knockout. Obviously, we've only packed Sedilia twice on this account, which is a little bit frustrating. But hopefully, we can get something good. On top of that, we also had marquee matchups come out. And now I did complete this because... I mean, it was fairly simple to do, and um, that was the only bit of content that we had for 6pm yesterday, so kind of disappointing, but at the same time, it is what it is. So, we're just literally getting rid of a load of bronzes for here, which is dead easy to get, obviously, into, and um, so that gives, I think that was a small prime electrum, and um, this one gives us a mixed player pack. Again, not bad, using up a lot of silvers, I bought a few of these, which is fine, but that gives us a mixed player pack, so again, a few cards tied into the club, a few silvers and bronzes that might eventually sell on. Then we had Juventus versus Torino. Now, Torino players are stupidly expensive. Um, obviously, ours was untradeable, but Zapata coming in about seven to 8,000 coins, I presume. Juventus players are a lot cheaper. But yeah, if you guys have any Torino players, make sure to sell them on. If you guys aren't using them, it is worthwhile doing. And then we also have Arsenal versus City. That was also quite easy to complete. Um, again, just using up cards that we already had in the club. Both of these players haven't really gone up in price, so it's not too bad. Um, but because we're using some high rated like Kovacic, we can use some super, super low rated just to fill in the team. And that gives a prime electron pack. And then to finish off all of the rewards is a rare mixed. Yeah, rare mixed player pack. So we'll go and get into the best of the packs. I'm going to go open all like the pretty rubbish ones. If we get anything good, again, as always, we'll highlight it. But until then, let's go get into the good packs. Right then, so we're left with five good packs. So starting off with a small Prime Electrum. These just aren't always the best. I mean, a North Macedonian camp is not ideal. Um, but again, it's enough that will fill us the club. It will enough to allow us... To, I guess progress in terms of you know marquee matchups further down the line when we get to uh, it would be when is it in November for Black Friday and um, having the silvers and all that type of stuff that are tradable will obviously help a lot of them will go up in price Chananoglu here no nope, it's not going to be Chananoglu an 85 rated would have been nice and um, a little bit of fodder to add to the club obviously right now there's nothing that we're really wanting to do in SBCs so hopefully Friday 6pm we get a good player if we do then obviously we'd have the fodder for that so the rare mix for marking matchups is going to be a Spanish goalkeeper <sighs> from Real Sociedad it's only an 84 rated it's not the worst thing in the world but at the same time would have been better to get somebody half decent um, again we'll send a loaded plays up to the transfer list 
if they sell on they sell on if they don't it's absolutely fine and then we've got the 83 plus pack which is obviously the daily upgrade um again if we get something good fantastic it's not special it's only going to be a hoiberg which really isn't that good but i guess at the same time we just got rid of a load of untradeables for a higher rated untradeable we'll take it so before we go and hop into some weekend league qualification qualification qualifiers before we go hop into some weekend league qualifiers a rare mega pack can it be anything good yet it's not going to be a special card it is going to be argentina cdm from real betis that is not what we wanted to see in an 83 rated maybe there's like an 82 rated fairly mendium behind that'd be nice it, it definitely is not and we have quite a lot of duplicates so what i'm going to do i'm going to just uh, keep hold of these duplicates considering the fact that obviously we might get some sort of player spc at some point um or maybe like a champions league type spc so if we get that for tomorrow's content then it's not too bad so what we can go do is let's go hop into the team again and let's go see what we are planning on doing for qualifiers now obviously we've looked at the team um and we are ready to go into qualifiers however one thing that we haven't looked at is custom tactics now these are not mine these are alex b officials um i take pretty much taking them from his twitter and his youtube video for it and uh, make sure to go check that out that'll be linked at the top of the description but basically, we play in either a 4-4-2, a 4-2-1-3, a 4-2-2, or a 4-2-4, just depending on what we need to do. Um, mainly, we play in the 4-2-1-3. As I say, Missy broke her in that midfield role. Hopefully, I'll be able to show it a little bit more shortly. Um, but yeah, really, really good option for us. Allows her to be the focus of the team as well, which kind of helps. Considering she's a midfielder, it's harder to make her the focus. So, again, helps out quite a bit with that. And then the rest of the sort of formations, they all line up the exact same. They all just do different things. Defensively, on a 4-4-2, it's just sit back. In a 4 2 it's more of an attack and a press. And then a 4 4 that basically allows us to go forward and just leave everybody forward and just see what happens. So this is how it all lines up. Kamavinga normally is a holding midfielder. De Jong is more of an attacking. Rodrigo is a striker. Dembele out wide. Missy Bokern is actually playing into the left wing, which is a bit unique, but she is actually very, very quick on the ball. So it helps us out quite a bit. So as I say, all of those tactics are really, really good. If you guys want to know about them, as I say, link at the top of the description to the video of where I got them from. But it leads us with one thing to do. Let's go get into the four wins and see if we can actually qualify for weekend league. Into game number one. We hopefully are going to come up against quite an easy team. Now, I'm playing these in the hopes of we've got pro players playing at a different time, but this guy has Zinedine Zidane. This is going to be a tough, tough game, but if we can get a few goals, people seem to be rage quitting, so hopefully it's going to work out well for us. It's a nice little ball from Dembele into Darwin Nunes, getting that first goal, which is super, super important in this game. We will absolutely take that. A lovely bit of a chip through there from Dembele. I don't really know how it worked, but we'll take it. We're 1-0 up. This guy's found a lot of space behind Teo Hernandez. Cuts inside, shoots. He's hit the post. And it's a typical rebound goal, and he's equalized. Missy Bokerns into Nunes against Tamori. Nunes shoots. And it's a nice little equaliser there. Again, Missy Bokerns involved in the play with an assist. It's 2-1. We'll take it. Right, half-time. It's 2-1. Not really too much going on. Not the best defensively, but not the best also attacking. So, it's not really working out in our favour. But we're winning. And against the team, which is much better than ours, I'll absolutely take it. So, let's see what we can do second half. It's a lovely interception by Rodrigo to start off the second half. Darwin Nunes, can he dance around in the box as always? R1 dribbling is working out very, very well for us recently. Not quite so much there, though. Although, Frankie de Jong has picked it straight up. Dribbles a bit more. It's a lucky, lucky goal. This guy is probably going to be quitting, I would presume. It's a, yeah, it's a very poor goal to concede. It was going to go in anyway, deflection or not. But, first game in qualifiers, and it's our first win. Right then, into game number two. It is going to be a better or worse team than the last one. A very, very good team this is. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Some very overpowered cards. Bruno Gamara is in that midfield. is probably going to run it. But we did just be a team with Zidane. So let's see if we can do any better this time. And that's a very lucky goal for him. He is all over me first 15 minutes. So fair enough, it was coming. But yeah. Pretty poor goal to concede. Again, another deflected goal. This time, it would have gone in anyway, but still, not ideal. 
Rudiger's just been absolutely sold. Rafael Liao probably going to find Ronaldo. It's 2-0. And you know what? I'm not going to stay in this game much longer. I know that we can find easier games. We're going to quit this one and go into the next one. Game number three. Now, I'm hoping not so bothered by the team, but more so the actual player isn't as good as the last one. Team is very, very good. A few weak spots in it, but a few very strong spots. Darwin Nunes, DRB and Fatty are going to be tough up top. The round in defence as well is going to be a very tough, but if he's not as good, it should be okay for me. And starting things off. Rodrigo just trying to dance through the team, as he has done so far. Can he get a pass, Paul Torres? No, he just can't quite get there. Ooh, very, very close. Oh, hang on. He's giving me a goal. Is this, that, is this he, is he quitting? Is he giving me a win? Are we going to be getting a free win? We are. We will absolutely take that. I don't know why he didn't want to play, whether he's qualified already. Who knows? But, I mean, a win's a win. That puts us two and one. Right, so um, since that free win, things have gone downhill quite quickly. Um, One guy was just so much better than me that I just quit out the game. And then two games were so close uh, that we are now two and four. So we still got four games to go two and two. It is possible. I, I know that I'm better than what I'm playing right now. I don't know if it's because it's super late and I've played a lot of FIFA today that I'm just tired from it. I'm not really too sure how it's going, but I'm hoping that because we've lost quite a few games now compared to what we've won, our ELO might be a little bit better, and it might allow us to win, hopefully, the next game or two. Um, so, with that being said, can we make this game win number three? I really hope we can. Um, in terms of the team, the teams that I've been coming up against have been fairly decent. This one, a female goalkeeper, unusual to see. Um, the only female in the team, apart from Smith as well, so... Okay, this could be quite a tough game. Let's see how things go. There we are. Smith is through. Smith scores. And in a minute and 30 seconds, we're 1-0 down. Darwin Nunes in behind. There we go. Darwin Nunes shoots, scores. We will absolutely take that. I haven't scored a goal in quite a while, so it's, it's a confidence booster now. It's a good ball in through behind. It's a good save by Allison, though, thankfully, making a big difference for us in this game. And then it means that Missy Bokerns can find the through ball, which has found Rodrigo into Darwin Nunes, takes it round, shoots, scores. And we can counter from that attack, which means we are 2 1 up. It's a good run by Darwin Nunes. Finds the ball into Missy Bokerns, into the space, shoots, scores, 3 1 up. We're taking control of this game. It's a good thing to do. Rodrigo against the byline for this corner. Still in. Still has the ball. Oh, that is unbelievable. Keeping it to the byline. It's 4-1. It looks like this guy is going to quit, which after the last few games, I'm more than happy with. VAR might need to check whether that ball actually went out, but it's so much easier to dribble around the goalkeepers with it. It does mean that that is our third win. So we're currently three and four. Let's go and try and get this final win. Right. Is this win number four for us? It is a very, very sweaty team. I cannot deny that one bit. So this could be pretty tough. Let's see how it goes. I have a feeling it might go very well. <laughs> I think we might be some of the luckiest, luckiest of peoples right now because that is two free wins given to us, which is very, very nice, which does mean we qualify for weekend league. Now, I can't just carry on playing because I feel bad that this is how we've got into weekend league, but what we are going to do is we're going to go and give away two wins now with this team. I feel it's only fair to do so um, considering we had two free wins. You know, let's go and give away to the community. Not that I probably would have won these games anyway, but it does help people out. Right, that is win number one done. I mean, he is celebrating. Thankfully, he skips it. So that is win number one all done. And that is win number two a gave away. So we, we will stick to the four wins. As I say, I felt bad. So it's only right to give back. So we probably weren't going to get six wins anyway. What it does mean is we are qualified. I will obviously claim the qualification when I can I can't right now we've still got like eight hours to wait for it which is absolutely fine but what it does mean is we have not some packs to open because we have duplicates so sadly 
Um, that is where we're going to leave it for today. This team, it is good. It is really, really good. There are a few minor issues. Maybe Teo Hernandez isn't as quick, but defensively, he's very good. Maybe De Jong isn't as good in midfield as what I'd like him to be. Obviously, Missy Kearns, in terms of ability, definitely lets us down a little bit, but... As you saw there, does get involved in the play. Rodrigo's good, but maybe just is lacking something. Dembele's good, but feels really, really slow. So it might be a case that we see DRB coming back into this team of some sort. I'm not too sure how, but what I will do is I will recover, rest. I've played so much FIFA today on this account. I'm probably just burnt out from it more than anything. So hopefully we're going to start Weekend League off in tomorrow's video. Hope to get maybe six to nine wins. Anything around there would be pretty happy with this weekend. Obviously, Sunday we'll probably finish it off. And Monday we'll have rewards. Who knows what it's actually going to look like. Make sure to keep an eye out for it. But for now, that is where we're going to leave it for today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. And we are going to leave it there. I'm out. Peace.